Hi, it's Monique, and today I'm going to show you how to make a thumbnail for YouTube. So before you do anything, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel down there. So the first thing to do is I go to a website called canva.com. So I'm going to open it up now. And you have a whole bunch of different layouts that you can use in Canva. You can do YouTube videos, you can do like business presentations, uh, like book notes and things like that, whatever. But you can pick the YouTube channel art as well. So I'm just gonna click on what I usually use for my channel art. If you look at the top of the selection, it shows you the size in pixels of what you will need for a YouTube thumbnail right at the top of the page there. So this is what my thumbnails usually look like on YouTube right now. Canva is a really great resource for doing channel art and thumbnails and things like that because they have a bunch of free pictures and graphics. So I'm just gonna get rid of everything on my um, current kind of thumbnail first and then I'll show you how to add things on and you can play with Canva yourself as well. So for my thumbnails I like to have giant writing that's easy for people to see and contrasty colors and a picture from the video. I don't like to have a ton of elements on the page. So the first thing I'm going to go to you go to the left hand side of the page and click on elements. And that's where you're going to find pictures and shapes and things like that. And the ones that are free always show up at this front. So you just click on the picture that you want and then you can resize it, scale it, move it forward or back, move it over a picture, whatever. So that's just how you resize things, you know, by pulling it in or pushing it over, whatever. Okay, so if I wanted that to be my background, that's what I would do. I'm just going to try a couple different pictures here. So if I wanted to, I could move that forward, bring it forward, bring it back. I could crop it, whatever. So let's find another picture. It's free. I sometimes like to use brighter colors too because some people don't like dark colors. They don't like looking at dark colors. So just bring the picture over, move it out or in, move it up or down, but like let it fill the space. Kind of like photography when they say tight and bright. So there's a camera. You can resize it, move it around. It looks really busy though, so I don't know if I'm going to use it as a super huge picture. I might make it really small or something just because like it's hard to put writing over a picture that's really busy. Like it's easier to put writing over top of a solid color. So we're going to put some text in by just going to text and clicking on one of the headings. Move it to where you want it, click on it, and start typing. So this video is how to make a thumbnail. So how to make a thumbnail. Okay, now if you go up here, you can change the font. So I'm just going to scroll through a couple fonts. I can't remember the last font that I had, but you can make it bold, italic, whatever. You can change the color, you can change the size, the spacing between the letters, and the spacing between the lines. Say if you have like two lines, you can make it go like this or not. So let's just scroll through here until I can find the one that I had. I like that one. I think it was called Norwester, Nor'easter, Nor something. Or <clears throat> I don't see it here. I find that writing like that is really juvenile looking and look very professional. So I like using like um, sans serif fonts, like type fonts that have no extra kind of like handwriting feel to them. That's nice. So what I'm going to try to do is make the writing as big as possible. So it's the easiest for people to read. Because you know, if your writing is really small, people have to squint and the thumbnail is small enough as it is. So you want it to have like super huge writing so they can easily read it. 
Okay, so like I said, you could change the spacing, make it all capitals. So I'm gonna change the spacing between the lines and I'm gonna make it bigger because I still feel like it's not big enough to read. And I think I might actually change the color of the font too because there's a lot of white in this picture already like in this thumbnail already, so I might change it to like orange or red or yellow, just because those are like colors that pop. Make the font bigger. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna make the picture bigger now. And you can move the picture backwards, forwards, behind the words. I'm also going to change the background color because I feel like it's too dark for people to look at. So maybe blue. If I do blue, it looks really busy in that picture. So maybe I'll make the picture of the camera smaller. Sometimes I like to use a screenshot from the video itself. So I've got a bunch of uploads that are in here already. I'm gonna type in thumb to see if there's a picture of a thumb that I could put in for a thumbnail. Or maybe like Polaroid or something like that to see if I can find a picture of a Polaroid picture. So that makes sense to have a Polaroid picture in there. <clears throat> and graphics, I feel like they should be like bigger normally. It should be like as big as the text that you're putting in so that people can read what it's about and see what it's about easily. So usually if you're talking about a thumbnail, you know it's a picture, right? A small picture. So I'm now just gonna move things around in the thumbnail just to like change the size and see how I like it or whatnot. And I'm gonna actually take a picture I have already uploaded to Canva because you can put your own pictures in Canva and I'm going to put it in this kind of thumbnail and this is going to be the thumbnail to this video as well. So I'm just going to put it on the page by clicking on it. I'm going to move it around. I don't actually like this one. I'm going to change it to a different one that is a picture of what I'm wearing today. I'm going to change the color and crop it a little bit. And just I'm moving things around until I find that it all fits properly how I like it. Usually I have a picture of my snap code on there so people can just um, scan my snap code. But I don't know. It looks kind of busy with all those things. I might just have one or two elements and the text in this page. So like I said, you can move items forward or back by just clicking on arrange at the top right hand corner. And I could change the font color. I can change, you know, I can make the picture bigger and drag it behind the writing. Right now, I think that's how I want it. I'm going to change the title to thumbnail. And I'm going to hit download. And then your thumbnail should be downloaded onto your desktop. I'm going to turn it to a JPEG so I can upload it to YouTube. And then you can use this and as your custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos. So I hope this video has helped you. This video has been how to make a thumbnail using canva.com. Bye.